Um, <coughs> Brett Kavanaugh was uh, appointed by President Trump to the Supreme Court a couple of months ago. And um, in his final hearings in front of Senate, they, um, there was a woman that came uh, forward and said that, um, Ms. Ford, and said that he had sexually uh, molested her when they were in high school. Uh, that stopped the process of the voting uh, for him and created this chaos, uh, not only nationwide, but I believe worldwide, uh, with regards as to how we were going to appoint a person that had done something like that in the past to be in the roles of one of the highest powers in our country. Um, there was also questions about why did she come forward 30 plus years later after the incident happened. And uh, from my understanding, she said that she just didn't agree and she couldn't live with the fact that somebody like him uh, would be in a position of higher power uh, knowing that he has that kind of background. In the process of investigating, they also found out a couple more women that also testified. Uh, and said that they too had been molested by Kavanaugh. Um, and um, there was an FBI one week investigation to determine whether or not he, the voting would continue. Uh, at the end, the voting continued and um, Kavanaugh is now the ninth uh, judge in the Supreme Court. Well, I heard it as um a, a guy that was running for Supreme Court Justice, he um, was accused of sexual assault. So the Brett Kavanaugh incident, as you might know, he's now our uh, senior judge. He's now the Supreme Court in the Supreme Court, um, which will you know stay until either he retires or until he passes away. No term limits, no nothing. Uh, this was something that uh, you know I think we can learn a lot from uh, and for our country. Uh, when we talk about, um, you know, the importance of voting, when we talk about why elections matter, this is why. Uh, we had an, an important election and we could trail back to 2016 uh, when we have now the current administration. Um, you know, we knew that certain things were going to be at stake, including uh, the appointments of judges, federal judges, and including the appointments and possible appointments of Supreme Court leaders. And that's why the last election was so important. And I heard it probably somewhere on the news. I'm not really sure where. Just It's a sad time for a woman in, in, in the United States, I believe. Um, it all started a couple years ago with the Me Too movement, and I feel like it's getting stronger and stronger. Uh, when we have people at the highest office essentially um, uh, uh, demeaning and saying that those things don't matter, that we're still going to push this person forward, uh, that is hurtful, I think, to the country. I think for those that have suffered certain things like uh, Miss Ford suffered or went through, <clears throat> you know, this was a tough time. I think uh, we, we need to make sure that we do more as a country. I, I don't know if what these women are saying is true and I don't want to jump to conclusions, but like I mentioned earlier, I think that uh, our government failed us as in creating a thorough investigation, a thorough FBI investigation to really determine if these women that were coming with these allegations were saying the truth or not. Part of me thinks, why would any woman go out in public on a national platform and say, I've been molested? That's something that you don't usually talk about. It's a taboo topic in our, in our society. I'm really... Uh, happy though that they did and I feel like more women should come up and step forward and say uh, what is uh, you know what had happened to them.